Five Thank minutes. you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have the privilege of representing the second congressional district in Hawaii, a state that has deep cultural roots and ties to the contributions that Filipino Americans have made to our nation throughout history. From driving Hawaii's plantation-based economy in the early 20th century, serving in our armed forces, to becoming leaders in every industry and sector in our state and across the country. It's an honor to stand here today as a voice for the more than 200,000 Filipino and Filipino-American soldiers that served our country during World War II. These loyal and courageous soldiers suffered, sacrificed, fought, and gave their lives alongside their American counterparts throughout the war. We've waited far too long to recognize these heroes who deserve this honor in standing alongside units like the Tuskegee Airmen and Hawaii's own 442nd 100th Infantry Battalion with being awarded the Congressional Gold Medal, our nation's highest civilian honor. With just 18,000 of these Filipino World War II veterans still alive and with us today, we cannot afford to wait any longer. I'd like to thank the 312 House members, Republicans and Democrats, and 71 senators that co-sponsored this bipartisan legislation, representing nearly every state and territory in our country. I also want to say a special mahalo nui loa to my colleague, Congressman Joe Heck, who is a Republican lead on this legislation, Congressman Woman Judy Chu, and Congressman Mike Honda, for working with me to push this bill through the House, and my colleague, Senator Maisie Hirono, who is here today, as well as Senator Dean Heller for championing this bill in the Senate, all of our staff, and both Democrat and Republican leadership for their efforts, commitment, and support to passing this legislation. I'd also like to recognize Major General Antonio Taguba, who joins us today in the gallery, and the Filipino Veterans Recognition and Education Project for their years of commitment to this historic effort and for continuing to fight to ensure we remember and recognize the legacy of our Filipino World War II veterans as a critical part of our American history. Major General Taguba's father, Staff Sergeant Tomas Taguba, was a soldier in the 45th Infantry Regiment Philippine Division that served alongside the U.S. Army during the war where he fought in the Battle of Bataan. He survived the Bataan Death March. This legislation is a testament to Staff Sergeant Tomas Taguba and the hundreds of thousands of Filipino World War II veterans who deserve a place of recognition amongst our greatest generation. To all of them, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. I urge my colleagues to join me in voting to pass this long overdue legislation today. Time is of the essence. We must honor these courageous men while they are still among us and recognize their dedicated service to our nation and our history. Mr. Speaker, I yield back.